get in on a buy. These are just too big of impulsive candles. You notice here how this candle moved almost in the same direction or these candles move in the same place, right? This means that these are big supply and demand zones. Hey everyone, the professor here, and this is an early morning recording of crude oil. So I am going to stay off of camera. So we can see here, right? The price action on crude oil. This is the eight hour chart. I've already marked this up. Those folks in my members group in the app have already had privy to this information. And we now, as we extend this here, okay, we talked about this last night on a live session inside the app. So I encourage you to join us in the app if you can. Uh, we came down to this pink level. And I'm going to be zooming this in here in just a minute. And we have seen now a bounce this morning off of that level. Now, I'm going to be coming back to that in a minute. But I also want to encourage you that this area, this wick right here, should not be discounted. This happened back in May of 20, of this year, okay? And this is at about $63 a barrel, okay? So we'll have to have some breakage to the lower side. But again, I just want to point that out as we look at crude oil from a big lens. And we'll be zooming in to this section here in just a minute. Now, let me remind you that later today, we are just filled, filled, filled with lots of news that is going to happen inside of the markets across the board. So again, we have at 8.30, lots of USD news with core PPI. That could move some crude oil. Of course, we have the crude oil inventories, which is at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then FOMC statements and press conferences across the board all afternoon, including the federal fund rate, that is going to dramatically move prices across the indices, and that spills over into crude oil as well, okay? So make sure that if you have open trades at this time, you are paying attention to what is happening uh, inside of the market, okay? So let me get back to the chart here. So let's go ahead now and let's kind of like break down what has been happening on a smaller time frame now as we move in here. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop down to the four hour and let's go here. Okay, so uh, this is an entry uh, that we took down at the lower level. We've already cashed out uh, 60 plus points. And so these are the areas that we are going to kind of look at. These are based on zones. Okay, remember that zones are never a straight line. They're an area. So that 50% mark okay, is an area that we need to pay attention to where we might get some type of uh, resistance level up in that area. Again, the news today is going to really dictate where price is going to go, okay? So I do have FIB levels up here. We do have a lot of liquidity that is sitting at this higher level. Again, crude oil on the bigger timeframes is a 100% sell. This was just a quick buy scalp, but I can see crude oil coming back up to this level to take out the liquidity there in that candle and then possibly retrace back down. So I would not do anything on crude oil right now until uh, the news happens, okay? So this would be the first stop for crude oil. And I'm gonna make this yellow where we may get our first key level uh, of resistance there, okay? So basically the play for today is gonna be, I would let the news settle, okay? If price does come screaming back down into this area, then we're looking for longer term buy situations where we buy from these lower levels. Okay. Where we buy from these lower levels to take it uh, back up. Okay. They may come back down to test the lows again. That was 67, 69 on this trading view chart. And then I think they'll probably break the lows. Okay. Is what I'm suspecting. And they're going to come back down and they're going to break the lows. Now, as we look at this chart here, and we kind of move up here a little bit, okay, if we do get a candle to close down in this level, okay, then we're probably going to visit 65. And again, let me just caution you that we do have that pending 63 sitting way back down in this area. It, it would not be frugal of them to come all the way back down to these levels, 65, 64, to go ahead and take whatever liquidity was 
It was created down here back in May of 2023. So we may not be done yet with the downward turn on crude oil. Okay. Well, so again, we are going to be looking for that. But in the meantime, we are going to trade what we see. And so here, we just, you know, I would let the dust settle with the news today. I don't think you're going to see too much movement. We're probably going to stay in some type of consolidation state uh, until news hits uh, throughout the day. Uh, we may get a push up, a push down, but I think we'll relatively stay pretty close to where price is um, unless something major breaks out. So again, I would look at something like this where if we do get news, right, my first selling point would be somewhere in this category around the 78.6 area with a very tight stop loss above the high here and then trying to take this back down to our lows, which would be here. So that would be kind of the first area that I would look at if I was going to sell, okay, uh, to see if that plays out, okay? And again, if we are looking to buy crude oil, I would just wait to see because if this candle, right, if this news is like one of these huge candles that just popped down, then uh, as we talk about in the group, I do not look to buy at that point. I wait till the market closes to see where it closes. If you get candles like this, like it happened yesterday, right? You should never be looking to try to get in on a buy. These are just too big of impulsive candles. You notice here how this candle moved almost in the same direction or these candles move in the same place, right? This means that these are big supply and demand zones where price moves rapidly. You can't try and either catch a falling knife or try to buy from these areas. And then it happened again here with the next four-hour candle. So when you see large candles like this, I would shy away from getting into the market, let it settle so we can get a better price point like we did here for a quick retracement, okay? So today, again, we've got a lot of news pending. This would be the only situation that I would look at for the sell because if the buy is going to happen, then I need to see where price is going to close today so I can look for a better entry. Because at the end of the day, if we go back here and we drop into our weekly chart, right? Uh, you know, do we really want to buy in this area right here? Okay, so when we look at the weekly here, right, we can clearly see that this area that we just talked about, okay, this 63 is no longer, oh, it, it, it's never going to get there. There's a very good possibility that today, tomorrow, we come back down to these wicks, which is 65, 66, and we push even further down to the beginning of next week. Again, so uh, the key area here that, you know, buying is going to be a lot riskier than selling in this market right now. We have no signs of a reversal yet. Until then, we're going to go ahead and, and buy or sell the best opportunities, but buys are riskier. They're quick scalps, 10, 15 points, and get out, right? The sells, you should be able to hold on a little bit longer depending on your trading plan and your risk, okay? So again, do not forget that today we are filled with crude oil inventory news and a lot of news as well that's going to impact the markets. Hey, if you got some value on this video, hit the like button for me. If you're brand new, uh, subscribe. And again, check out the uh, link in the video description area as well. We would love to have you join us in our brand new app. You can scan uh, the QR code here as well. Uh, we'd love to see you, uh, you know, come in here and join us. We've got members from all over the world who are in the trading app, you know, crude oil, natural gas, the indices, gold, and then a few Forex pairs for those of you that want to trade Forex as well. The chat zone is just filled with value, people trading all day, 24-7 as well, giving value to each other from the different time zones. You get full access here, okay? I'm in the charts all day. We're doing live trading in the app, so you're not going to find that on uh, YouTube. So come on in, scan the QR code, Check it out. Try it for a month. You have nothing to lose. You can cancel at any time. Okay. Happy trading, and we'll see you inside the charts.